that is that guys not playing as aggressively as they could? In I don't think that's the case. No, yeah. I just again uh, preparation meets opportunity. It could be. Uh, Citing something and having an idea of the down and distance and, uh, and getting yourself in position and having great anticipation and uh, what the play might be and, and, and uh, be a step closer, two steps closer in the thought process. There was about two or three times that if we would have done that on Saturday, they would have put themselves in a great position to intercept the ball or uh, or have another PBU or, you know, I, again, I'm talking about the secondary. Where's the level of physicality in that group? You, you feel like you're being physical? I don't it's think physical we're physical enough. Okay, I think it's too inconsistent. We need to be more consistent. In all areas, just tackling Absolutely. or just everything. Tackling, everything. everything? Whether it's hand placement, whether it's tackling, uh, you know, taking on blocks. You, you said from the get-go you didn't have near enough depth. Are you building? Do you feel like you built some throughout the first part of spring? Uh, I wouldn't say that. I mean, the thing that I would say is that I think that we, I think the group is feeling a little bit more comfortable in understanding the scheme, and uh, but we're nowhere near the depth that we need to be at. We got to continue to develop, and obviously we've got some young players that are coming in this summer that uh, will have a great opportunity to, uh, you know, to show what they, you know, are they ready and. and because they're very athletic and very talented, so looking forward to seeing that. We've heard about some of the early enrollees. How is, how's Lehman Johnson look? We haven't heard a lot he's about He's doing him. good. You know, he's a typical high school senior that mm -hmm. should be in, 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 uh, at, uh, going through his prom, and you know, he's, uh, he's adjusting very well. Um, conscientious you know, kid and, and uh, young man, and he's doing a good job. Is he getting all work and safety right now, or is he That's correct. anywhere else? Okay. And, and Riyad, I mean, obviously he's been kind of settling in as well, but I mean, yep. has he taken well, I, the steps you'd hope he would take still throughout the spring? Again, it's inconsistent, and you know, we understand that, again, coming from, uh, this is his third school in the last, going on his third year, and uh, again, he, so he's got his third new coach. Uh, like a lot of these guys here, we've got their fourth coach, you know, it's, it's, it's learning how to do things, you know what I mean, and listening, and, 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 uh, and he's learning to it, but he's a little bit more, obviously more mature than some of the mid-year kids that come in because those kids are coming straight out of high school. He's already been at Georgia Southern. He had been at, you know, at, uh, at junior college. And, and uh, so you can tell that by just by his mature level as far as understanding the scheme and understanding some of the fundamentals that we're coaching. What about the safety position? You mentioned with Daryl a couple of weeks ago, you know, how consistent he's been. When you put Byron and Brian Randolph, you feel – is that where you have the most depth? Is that where you feel I guess, maybe the most comfortable personnel-wise? Is it safety compared to the corner? I think that that would probably be accurate, what you're saying. Yeah, because again, those guys have the most experience and they've played. Uh, you know, Justin uh, has got the he's got the most reps at the corner position. We know that Dan Gray had played some last year, um, but but there's definitely more depth uh, at the safety position.